Hello and good morning. I have a new recipe for you guys and this is, I'm going to make pupusas. Um, this is uh, corn flour or um, yeah, that kind of flour. <laughs> uh, I never measure when it comes to this kind of flour. I usually um, just add um, and just eyeball everything. But right here I have two cups of flour and this is a serving for two people approximately. So then I'm going to add garlic powder and uh, onion powder, salt, and I am also going to add nutritional yeast to this. The, normally it's just, it's just um, the flour, a little bit of salt, and water, and that's it. But I like to add these extra ex, um, spices. I have hot water right there on my coffee maker. And I'm going to start adding water and see how it goes. I'm going to try to measure everything for you guys, especially, um, I mean, not salt, it's just, I'm just eyeballing this, but probably like a teaspoon, and all of this is um, to your liking, <coughs> excuse me, and I'm going to add the garlic powder, and also maybe like a teaspoon, and another teaspoon of um, onion powder, you can, remember, you can add anything you want to this dough. Uh, I'm going to add the nutritional flakes for extra nutrition, <laughs> maybe like one and a half spoons, yeah, one and a half to two, and I'm just going to mix all the dry ingredients. Now, I like using these um, gloves because I hate when the dough goes into my nails, so just don't like that. I'm going to add one cup of hot water first. It doesn't have to be hot either. You can um, just uh, make warm water or even cold. It doesn't even matter. But I, I, for some reason, I like using hot water. I'm going to use the spoon because I don't want to burn myself. Now I'm going to add more. This is the second cup. I'm only adding half at a time. And see how much water I need. There we I ended up using the other half as well. So now I'm just gonna work this and see how it works out. And this dough is very easy to knead. You don't really have to knead it that much, you just have to incorporate everything together. I ended up using uh, like about an eighth of flour more because it was too watery. I used, yeah, around an eighth. And this is how it should look. It should be um, very pliable, not sticky at all, uh, and um, but like soft, like a little bit wet, but not sticky, and a little soft. <laughs> I hope I'm making sense. But if you add two and an eighth of cups of flour and two cups of water, you should be good. Now it's time to start making the little balls. And this, I'm, I kind of cheat to make these pupusas because normally this is, you don't use this tortilla press to make them. You do everything by hand. But uh, I am a busy mommy. I don't have time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So... I'm going to do this, which I personally think is easier. I'm just going to press very lightly, not too much pressure. I just want like a gordita um, kind. Yeah, I'm having troubles here, technical troubles. <laughs> and since it flattens more on one side than the other, uh, I'm just going to turn it around and flatten the other part just a little bit so it can be nice and even. And that's it. And that's how big I like them to be. Uh, what is it? Like around, hmm, like a, I don't know. They can be as big as you want them to be. Usually I eat like three of these um, gorditas or pupusas, whatever you want to call them.
Now I have two, and this is what I do. I put the mixture, I'm using beans here. And um, I just put it right on the center and try to uh, try to <laughs> spread it a little bit towards the edges, but not too much because uh, I'm going to put the other tortilla or gordita. Oh, um, yeah, I'm using daya cheese. This is optional. And remember, you can stuff these things with whatever ingredients you want. Um, I also made some with the zucchini, well, the squash mixture that I made the other day. And, oh my gosh, that's bomb. I really, really like that. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, always gets my stuff and puts them like cats. <laughs> And this is how I get it off the, the plastic bag so they don't rip. And I just put it on top and there I'm going to start uh, sealing this. And you can also wet your hands if you want, if your dough is too dry or whatever. But it's just sealing the edges really, really nice. I use my, the balls of my palms to seal those edges. And just make sure to, to get the air out of it, if there's any air. And that's it. Pretty easy, huh? So, yeah. Time for... Oh, this is normally how they do it. They do it by hand. They put the stuffing in there. And then they close it like that. And then they start doing that again. But I honestly... I, they never come out right to me. <laughs> so, this is easier for me. So, yeah. It's however you like to do them. And I have a medium heat pan here. Um, you can have it into medium high if you want. And that's it. Just put them there. Cook them like a regular tortilla. Flip them. And just a little. Um, they don't have to be really, really brown. Just a little bit, as, as long as the dough is cooking, it's not raw, uh, and you're good to go. See this one, it's slightly browned, and that's good. And that's it, you guys, it's pretty, pretty easy. And here's a little picture. I'm going to show you guys how to make now the this salad, which is like a the coleslaw for the um, uh, pupusas and I forgot to show you guys because well not forgot I actually recorded it but then I erased it on accident I have a half of a cabbage um, a small uh, red onion and two medium carrots what I did I, um, I slice everything like this very nice and thin and then I had hot water well boiling water and then I put the boiling water on the cabbage and the onions only once they were sliced and leave it there for a minute. After that, I rinsed it with cold water so that I stopped the, the cooking time <laughs> process. And uh, I'm, once I did that, then I put, put in the carrots, the shredded carrots. And that was it. And then I'm just mixing everything. I am going to add to this um, salt, uh, oregano, bay leaves, uh, apple cider vinegar, and water oh and um, pepper flakes if you want some spiciness or you can also slice some um, jalapenos into this too but remember uh, oh yeah I use this organic um, apple cider vinegar with the mother I buy this at Costco and oregano you, you use about a, a heaping tablespoon I'm gonna use several bay leaves because my bay leaves are very very old so they don't they're not really flavorless I mean flavor um, they lost their flavor a lot, so or intensity. So I'm just gonna add a whole bunch of them. But normally it's just like one or two. Um, so yeah, and here I'm going to add uh, this. Oh, well, added it. Don't do that. I'm sorry, you guys. And I added one one teaspoon of one teaspoon one uh, cup of the apple cider vinegar now I'm gonna add the salt and the salt or oh, and pepper pepper is just to, to taste uh, also the salt is to taste but I usually put about hmm, like maybe a teaspoon of salt uh, or so 
and I just mixed everything together and I add another like about a half I mean another cup of water to this yes still love this and this is this will last you in your fridge for like very long because of the apple cider vinegar as uh, acts as a preservator and it's good for you because it, it's gonna um, <coughs> ferment all this uh, veggies and it's good for your for probiotics and, and that's it it's more like it's like a sauerkraut not a coleslaw it's like a sauerkraut you can actually just buy sauerkraut and use that if you want for this but I like making my own and it's just so delicious and you know where everything comes from and yeah he goes crazy for this stuff I have this glass jar that has a lid. Uh, if I prefer glass, but if you have, I don't know, any any container with with a lid, I like putting everything in there. And after that, I just make sure that the liquids are gonna cover them. No, no, baby, no more. Okay. I put everything in there, <laughs> and it's just a little bit more difficult to me because I'm only using one hand. And then this baby is trying to, <laughs> oh my gosh, I was looking into everything else except his hands. So yeah, I forgot to show you guys, but I did add some chili flakes to this mixture. And it's up to you. You, you don't have to either. If you just want to leave it like this, if you don't like any spicy stuff, just make sure that the liquids are covering everything, like slightly covering like this. So everything ferments. You can use it right away, but obviously the flavor is more intense after, you know, the next day or so. So here's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Also, thank you for watching, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, okay? And like. Bye.